I'm Michael Bailey and today I'm going to talk about calibrating a handheld multimeter with Transmill's 3000A series multi-product calibrator. The first function we will be calibrating is the voltage input. Connect the multimeter to the voltage terminals on the 3000A. The 3000A's voltage terminals are colour coded and the active output indicated with an LED to enable simple connections. We will start with a value of 1 volt DC. Firstly, select the correct range on the multimeter. This multimeter is fitted with an auto range function. If not, make sure that you're on the correct range before inputting any voltages. To enter 1 volt on the calibrator, simply press the 1 key followed by the volts function key. Pressing enter will make the required value display on the main display. After ensuring your connections are correct, press the output on key. The output on LED will indicate that the output is active, as will the LED indicator next to the terminals. As we can see, we have a measurement on the multimeter. To work out the error of the multimeter, you can simply deviate the output of the calibrator until the multimeter reads the correct value. This multimeter has an error of 0.4%. We will now proceed to testing AC voltage. After putting the calibrator into standby, we will switch the multimeter to the AC voltage output and then press the AC key on the 3000 series calibrator to move into AC voltage output. We will reset the output to 1 volt and then choose a frequency of 200 Hz by entering 200 followed by the Hz key. We will now press output on and we can see an AC voltage is being measured by the multimeter. Sourcing resistance from the 3000 series calibrator can be done as either two wire or four wire passive and simulated resistance. Passive resistance offers the best accuracy. First switch the multimeter to the ohms mode and then enter the required test value. For example, 100 ohms. The calibrator defaults to two wire ohms output. As you can see, the output is not exactly 100 ohms. This is due to the value being a true resistor of nominal value. The ohms is sourced from the voltage output terminals and measured on the voltage input terminals and the common on the multimeter. Pressing output on, and waiting for the multimeter to auto range will then indicate the value on the multimeter. We will now move to testing the current input functions of the multimeter. We have selected the milliamp range of the multimeter which is measured between the common terminal and the milliamp and microamp terminal. Using the Transmill lead set we connect to the terminals on the multimeter and then connect to the low current terminals of the 3000A calibrator. The output of the 3000A calibrator is split between low current up to 2 amps and high current up to 30 amps to avoid incorrect connections. We will now enter a value of 100 milliamps followed by the enter key. We will now press output on, the output on is indicated, the terminals are indicated and a reading is indicated on the multimeter. We will now test the AC current measurement of this multimeter. We will switch from DC to AC current after switching the output of the calibrator off. 
by pressing the mode key. We are now in AC mode. To switch the 3000 series calibrator into AC mode, simply press the AC key. The last value is carried across. We already have a setting of 100 milliamps. We will be testing at 60 hertz. So we press the output on and verify the measurement on the multimeter. Switching to high current measurement mode on this multimeter requires changing the leads to the 3000 series calibrator. This is for protection of the UUT to avoid damaging the 400 milliamp fuse in this multimeter. We'll now connect between the common and 10 amp inputs of the multimeter to the high current terminals of the 3000A using the color coded lead set. We will switch the calibrator back to DC mode and use the range up keys to set a value of 10 amps. After checking the connections are correct, we will press output on. We can now take a recording of the indicated value from the multimeter. Measuring high AC current follows the same procedure as before. Switching the multimeter into AC mode, switching the calibrator into AC mode, verifying the frequency and pressing output on. Once again, we can take a value from the multimeter. Thank you for watching this short video. Hopefully you have now seen how simple calibrating typical test equipment is with the 3000A series calibrator. For further information on our products and software, please either visit our website at transmill.com or watch more videos on our YouTube channel. Music